Black YouTube, DB Squonks here. Today we're going to be doing a review on a device that, again, I wanted another giveaway. Um, yeah, I know I'm on a little giveaway kick. I promise it's not a whole lot. But anyhow, so today we're going to be doing a review on a device that I won from a mod maker over in Germany that goes by the name of Damp Dozen. He can be found on Instagram. Um, I will leave a link to his Instagram in the description. But the mod that I won is a handmade 18650 Squawk mod. Uh, the mod that we are talking about today is this right here. Yes, I know what everybody's going to say. But I'm going to dive down to the table, take a look at what comes inside the box, um, show you what the boxing looks like. Go through the ins and outs, and then I'll bring back up on top and vape on it. Okay, so here we are down low with the Damp Dozen 18650 Mechanical Squonk. It's a handmade mechanical squonk made in Germany. This is what it will come packaged like. There's the mod, set that to the side for a second. Underneath the mod, you will have your certificate of authenticity. This is the type Altoid cinnamon can, number nine, signed by Damp Dozen. There's his seal, and it was manufactured, looks like, October 26th of 2018. So you will get a COA with it. Set all this packaging and a COA to the side. We'll go over the mod. I've had this for a couple of months. I was not going to fire it, but I guess I should give it a proper review. So it is an Altoid cinnamon can, like I said. Um, the original manufacture date of the Altoid cinnamon can uh, was, it says best of used by April. Uh, looks like April the 6th of 2016. The back, again, like I said, is just an Altoid cinnamon can. You have your button there. Bottom feed 510 there. And then the internals, of course, you have your squonk bottle. This is a 6.5 milliliter squonk bottle. The switch is wired to a MOSFET, so there is a little bit of protection. But it is, again, a mechanical squonk. There's no five clicks on, five clicks off, anything like that. But it does have a MOSFET to protect the switch. And your 18650 will go here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, a lot of people say, you know, it, it looks like a doll dime mod. Um, doll dime mods are handmade mods, basically very similar in style that are handmade here in America. Um, they are manufactured by Michelle Lynn. She does an awesome job on the doll dime mods. But again, this one was made in Germany by Damp Dozen. And uh, so there's the, there's the mod. I'm going to go ahead and throw a, a battery in it and put RDA on it, fill up the squonk bottle, and then I'll vape on it. Okay, so we're back up on top with the squonk mod made by Damp Dozen in Germany. Um, give you my pros and cons. I also real quick wanted to give a shout out uh, to a friend of mine um, from you know YouTube and all the YouTube lives. I don't want to say any names, but you know who you are. I appreciate it. He did help me get this. Um, it shipped over here. It is kind of expensive to get it shipped from Germany. So, you know, uh, he did help me out with that. Um, and I do appreciate that. But we'll give you the pros and cons of it. The pros, it is handmade, um, you know, from a different country. It is a collector's item. So, you know, that is a pro. Um, the pro is that it is a squonk mod. You guys know I love my squonks. So that's definitely a pro. Um, it's made out of everyday stuff that you can find. There's a lot of mod makers out there doing that right now. You know, I mean, 
of course, you know, everything started off with the high end stuff with, you know, uh, stab wood design, stuff like that. But recently, there's been a lot of mod makers going around, you know, uh, just making stuff out of everyday household items. But um, the cons on this is it does only hold a 22 millimeter RDA. This is a 22 millimeter. Anything over a 22 millimeter will give you overhang. The other cons are is it's not the most comfortable thing in the hand. Um, you can thumb fire it and squonk with your index finger. So, you know, it's just kind of awkward. It's a box mod. You know, it's in the shape of a box, so it's not the most ergonomic feeling mod around. But, I mean, it does work. You do have to know what you're doing when it comes to using mechanical mods. You do know how to, have to build within your limits. This is a 0.12 ohm stable coil that is in here right now. It's just a single coil. Um, let's see if I can get the cap off here. That is just a... Let's see if this will zoom in. There we go. It's just a single coil. Single coil. Uh, I'm down to 0.12. But, you know, the the other cons on this are it is made out of, of tin, so there is sharp edges on it. Like the uh, door right here is sharp where it's been cut out. The door on the inside here is very sharp. Um, I mean, it, it won't cut you, I don't think, but, you know, that is something that you have to watch for, along with the door on the top right here, where it's cut out, that is sharp, um, so you have to be careful when opening that door, because that very well may cut you, so, um, it's just, you know, it's just a, a simple squawk mod, um, it's cool that it's a collector's piece, you know, um, this is something that will probably set on my desk, I don't think I'll use it very often, um, but let's take it for a rip anyway. By the way, the juice that I am using today is uh, from Candyman. It is their new sour apple. It is uh, basically, a lot of people say that it tastes like a sour apple Jolly Rancher slushy maybe. I don't really, you know, there's no coolness to it. There's no um, colada or menthol or anything like that to the, the juice. Uh, I just get a, a pretty decent sour apple vape off of it. So, yeah, guys, there you go. That is the Damp Dozen Handmade Squawk Mod, number nine from Germany. Um, let's go over some advocacy stuff real quick. I should have done this in the beginning of the video, but we will do it here and now. Um, please follow the advocacy links in the description. Uh, it doesn't take very long. It takes you a couple minutes to fill it out if you're not already part of them. Um, you know, Kassad.org, Not Blowing Smoke, I Quit Smoking by Vaping. There's a couple other ones. Uh, please stand up for your rights to vape, guys. I know I didn't quit smoking on tobacco or menthol flavored juices. I quit smoking on fruits and candies um, and I would like to be able to continue to vape flavored juices I don't want to go back to you know if I had to vape tobacco flavored I might as well smoke but I do not want to do that so please stand up for your rest I don't care if you guys are vaping on a hand-me-down device or something that you guys spent thousands of dollars on as long as you guys are not smoking so until next time you guys keep it cloudy